Um, as you know, we're going to do the Cosmos, I think that's what it's called. They're lovely, beautiful flowers that are here at Judy's Place. We're on the creek at Stunning Tonga. And it's a beautiful way and place to isolate. So I've set up my little chair and I've got water, which I've forgotten. Gratefully, Judy's got it. What, a spray bottle of water would have been great. And I'm doing inks. So I've got yellow. These are all the things I found in my studio. Yellow, pink, crimson, and I've got turquoise. I've also got, I found some greens, which are good because the yellow and blue ink also make green, but it's also nice to have variety. So what I've done is I've prepared my paper. I prepared the paper and if you can see that shining that's actually PVA glue and that's going to resist off the paper so you've got the paper that will absorb the ink and then the inks will just sit on the top here of the PVA and catch in it that's a good stick. okay I'm gonna get a stick oh, and I'll use this stopper as well and I'm just gonna get some shapes and things in there so I've gone back to a stick because the other one wasn't working all that well and it does give you a more relaxed feel and uh, so I'm just going to keep doing these lines and wait for them to, the more dots the better because when these dry these will stay clear, these will stay firm because they're shellac and they're waterproof and then we will add on the washers. So I'm just going to put some line in here. I've also got another ink which is, I've found, it's amazing when you collect shit all your life. This is a, I have no idea, colour for silk. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's actually a f um, fabric silk. So there's nothing wrong with that. I use everything. I have no idea where my stick's gone now. That was a good stick. Oh, there we are. So this is another green. So again, and there's another, look, that's to show on plain air. So this is another, another green and it's quite nice. So I'm going to put that underneath. Just really look deep into the into the foliage for a reason to draw a line. Don't make it up. If it just looks thin, it's, you, you won't have happiness. All right. So I'm going to take these out here, and these are the stems underneath. And if I just put a bit of water on top, that will run a little bit. Not much water. And then just take that down there. Is that water you're putting on there? Though? That's just water out of the bowl. So see how it's already dried and how beautiful that is? Now you have to remember that the actual um, ink dries darker. So while it might look fabulous now, it does, may not look that good later. So this is just getting some different tone. And I might take that right down here, that darker ink. So just by putting that on, because then it grounds it, so it's not floating in the air. So I'll just put a little bit of ink there. And then take that down. Now see how this is catching differently now, in different areas. Where I've put the, um, where I have put the PVA glue, can you zoom in there, David, and have a look? See how the PVA glue is reacting differently? And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That there. So that's the paper without PVA, and that's with. And see how that's got that lovely. If you put the PVA glue on with a spatula, that means that it will catch in different ways. And look at this. It's just beautiful. Now, if you just leave it without, don't do the PVA glue, you don't have um, that variety. And it's all about getting the different effect so there's the light green and the dark green it's beautiful okay so this may not be a cock up after all all right so I'm going to just do a little bit more wash up here with this that line looks a bit too harsh and then drag that down and just get some foliage in here see how that's dry and it's dry but it's still got, as I'll put the wash over it, it's grabbing onto it. So we've still got that lovely effect. So having the green down the bottom means that it is grounded and then we can go up airy-fairy at the bottom. 
Now remember I am really bad at this so when it starts out alright and then I stuff it up don't get a shock. So I might just put a bit more up here get that green sections here that green is beautiful that's the shellac I'll just show everyone what that is it's actually this one can you see that it says French. hang on let's do the English version traditional shellac based ink with a transparent satin finish thinned with water and something else superimposable the ink can be in intermixed apply with brush or drawing isn't it beautiful and that's yellow green isn't it beautiful absolutely gorgeous okay so we want to keep a variety look I'm just gonna put a little splash there we want to keep a variety of line making and also um, shapes so as I come up here I'm going to keep there's under here there's this is potato, pumpkin are they pumpkin yep. they're pumpkin leaves so keep them those shapes there it's quite dark and then it comes up to the light so we'll keep this section up here quite light why don't you do a pan of Patonga day I have I've have you done that? put it on yes yeah okay so this is why we're in heaven here and we're quite enjoying isolation except I'm getting bloody huge with fat eating chocolate okay, okay. Okay, so I've got, um, I've done the washes and then I actually put a little bit of green ink and made it run so that we're not having green on one bottom and nothing on the top. And, it, and it's very watery, so in which case I've put some water on it. You can just tip water, tip water. This is my water. There you go, and you can put it under the tap if you're inside. Okay, and that will, that, that just gives a nice wash rather than that white. So here, I've done uh, the oil pastel and it's still running but oil pastel and so I've just been drawing the bottom foliage in here so you don't want to do it everywhere it's all about the variety okay so we've got line wash uh, we've got blocked out we've got drawing it doesn't have to be all well, that's the cat that's a pumpkin leaf and that's another leaf and that's a nasturtium and that's a grass or that whatever it's all about the variety here she comes now Um, an oil pastel which is a purpley color and it actually happens to be the exact color of the what are they called Cos cosmos. cosmos so um, I'm gonna just draw some shapes drawing from the actual and I'm going to twist it as I do it I'm going to twist it so which case and keep it quite loose and I'm going to do nice and so I'll just do these by really looking at the at the blowing in the wind cosmos and I'll get these shapes so what I'll be doing is I'll do the line and I'll also it's not very good but it's because it's wet the paper's wet doesn't help but that's good the, the interesting the mark the better and then I'll also put some harsh colour in some colour in here like that so it's all about variety. So as you're drawing it, you're looking all the different shapes and they're moving so it doesn't that doesn't matter. Right? And twist as you go. This makes it a lot better than if you do a great big red soccer ball like I did with the other one, which I'm trying to fix. So I've just put some yellow ink on, just straight on, and that's resisting beautifully. But you don't do it everywhere, right? Just if something looks beautiful, don't do it everywhere. Leave some gaps, right? Leave some areas. So I'm putting the dark down here, and then it's going to go lightness up to fabulous. So, and then a bit of, don't forget the flicks. We love a bit of flick. Put the ink 
into this bag because I don't have any containers. It's on plain air drama. But I put pink ink and it's the pink ink that I talked about before. Crimson. Okay. What did you show me? Because we didn't see before. Right. Crimson ink. And that is very watery and I can't tell you the dimensions because it's in a plastic bag. So, But what I'm doing is with a big brush so we don't get tied down and I'm just creating this here so where the drawing is don't stay in the lines that is boring right we're not in kindergarten now we're big people and we don't stay in the lines all right so just a little bit of a touch here and that's the pink wash so that will dry a little bit lighter and just keep it variety so you can start off with quite a light wash so this is like a watercolor you start off with quite a light wash it will dry lighter and then you go into the darker washes if you like so the um, oil pastel and then the wash don't have to overdo it So now I've got the blue, blue ink. the blue ink, and just so that I can get the the darks and the lights down here because it's all a bit boring. Yes, and the so the shadows with that blue, it, and I'm just going to carry it over. And that see how it's resisting. So it wouldn't have got that effect if I hadn't done the oil pastel and the PVA glue underneath. So I'm just tipping this on and then not being too precious but just looking at the shapes around me look at that beautiful And you've got that because you put the oil pastel yeah. on and then the watery wash. Yeah. So with the oil pastel, I was just saying to Judy, that you can get the, you don't have to go for the expensive ones, you can actually get a box of different colours and they're from Art Scene and they deliver at the moment. You can also get the shellacs, all that sort of, all this stuff you can get delivered and the coloured ink. So you don't have to go for this, this is not, you don't need to do this, you can get the little ones and you can play. So the more selection you've got, the more variety. If you love colour, go for the coloured inks. I don't, you know, I, I love putting this onto dry paper without the PVA and that's the base to start myself off on big paintings. So again, you don't have to have the expensive things, Sennelia and stuff, just go for the cheap Montmartre, artists, children's art things, just to start you off and see what 